Hey guys, I'm Avesh and this is the part 5 of the MERN stack tutorial. In the previous session, we focused on creating new records to the user collection using the MongoDB Compass GUI. We have compared the advantages of using the Compass GUI tool over the online Cloud GUI tool. Due to the limitations of Cloud GUI tool, we will continue using the Compass as our GUI tool. In this session, we will focus on project, sort, skip and limit options available in the filters. We will also explore the import feature of the GUI tool. We will add indexes and validations to the user collection. In the previous session, we have used this compass and we have created the users by cloning one of these documents. We can also add the users by clicking on adding the data by individually inserting the document or by importing a JSON file. Let me quickly show you how to create a JSON file and import the users into the JSON file. Let's say I'm creating a new JSON file. In the import process, we need to add the collection of user records. In order to do that, let's start with the JSON file as an array of collection. In this array, we need to mention the email, first name and last name as these are the properties that are available in this collection. So let me add an email and add one email as peter at the rate gmail.com and similarly I will add the first name and last name from my other window. So let me add some quotes around the email as well. Let's add another user credentials over here and let me call this as Raymond with a first name and last name. Now once this is done we will be saving this JSON data onto the desktop and name it as user collection. Once the user collection.json is saved, we just need to import this file using the import option in MongoDB Compass. So let me go to my desktop and pick this user collection.json. Now we get a couple of options here like to stop on errors or not. I will not choose this for now and I will click on import. Notice that both Peter and Raymond are imported easily. In the previous session, we have utilized this query field to filter the user collection and all the history data of the queries is stored in the recent tab of this queries. Use the advanced query options. You have to expand these options available in the MongoDB Compass. The moment you expand the options, you'll get different options such as project, sort, collation, index, hint, skip, limit and maximum time. We'll be focusing on project, sort, skip and limit for now and then we will revisit the rest of the options in the future sessions. Now in order to project a field, you just need to mention the field that you need to project and whether it is 1 or 0. So let me add email to project as 1 and enter. Look at that. It is displaying all the ID with all the emails only. Let's now evaluate the sort option. Remember sorting in MongoDB is case sensitive. So let me add the sorting with the first name and show it as in a descending order. Notice that we now have Avish which is a small case since two first name is displayed first and the rest of the name are sorted. Now let me change this. Put the first name as one. Notice that the capital Alexandro is displayed as the first name and it is sorting the names in the alphabetical order in a case sensitive manner. In order to achieve the case insensitivity, we need to use either the aggregation or we need to use the ExpressJS and we have multiple options in displaying the same. We'll be exploring it in the next set of the sessions. For now, let me change this first name of Avish from a small letter to uppercase and update the same. Now let me sort it again. Look at that. Now it is perfectly sorted. Now let me remove this sort or rather add minus one here for the descending order sort. Notice that it is sorted in descending order. Now let me clear the sort and then let's focus on skip as well. Adding the skip at the top will skip the elements and limit the elements as well. So let me skip the first two elements and notice that we are getting the rest of the user collection. So let me now add first name in an ascending order. Notice that the Avish and the other name is removed in the filtered list. Now let me add a limit of 5. It is skipping the first two records and limiting to next set of 5 records. 
So let me add the skip and limit options here and click on find. Notice that the output is displaying only five user collection. Let's now add an index to this collection. Switch to the indexes tab and click on create index. Uh, it will allow you to choose different attributes available in the collections table. So let me choose the first name as the index. Index will make the query to run faster depending on the situations and number of the records. Now I will select a type as ascending, descending or sphere or text. So let me choose the text index and choose the options available here. There are multiple options available in the index. We will skip these options for now and we'll be revisiting them in the advanced menstruct tutorial. Our goal is to integrate the Mongo, Express, React and Node and hence we will skip all the advanced options and once we integrate the Mern stack we will revisit these options. For now I am going to create a very simple index using the first name property. So let me click on create index here. Look at that the index is created. By default we will have the ID as index which is a primary or unique key. Now once the index creation is done, let's now focus on the validation stuff. Now whenever we create records into the collection, we can add a validation ensuring that the required fields are added into the collection. Now let's say our required field is email. So we can add the email as a validation over here and we'll try to load the document and look at that. We have the validation passed over here. Now let's say I want to add a country as mandatory required parameter and let me change this required to country and update this collection and reload the document. There are no past validations here which means all the collection documents are missing the country. Now let me go to this failed validation and click on load document. Look at that. It is showing a random email or the first in the list based on our filter that this document is missing the required field validator which is country and hence I will add the validation as email and click on validation action as update. Now once we add the email there are no documents which have failed the validation and hence we are good here. Now that we understood the basics of MongoDB in the next session we will focus on creating an ExpressJS application and an API. Till then, thank you for listening and have a great day.